Hello and welcome to this video on cystic fibrosis. Um, cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that can be inherited um, and it is a disorder that affects cell membranes. And what happens in cystic fibrosis is it causes large builds up of mucus especially um, in the lungs but also in other organs of the body which affects their function. Cystic fibrosis sufferers will often um, cough a lot because it's associated with their lungs and they'll find it difficult to shift um, the mucus that's built up because of this fault in the cell membranes. Now this is a disorder that is passed on um, by recessive alleles. So it's caused by recessive alleles. Unlike polydactyly, which is caused by a dominant allele, this is caused by recessive alleles. Uh, recessive alleles. Therefore, in this case, it can be passed on by parents that don't have the condition. Because the important thing with this is it can be passed on by parents who don't have the condition, so who don't have cystic fibrosis. And it's because these parents can be carriers of that recessive gene. If you remember, if someone is a carrier, we use the capital C for dominant and the lowercase c for the recessive gene for cystic fibrosis. So capital C means it is not affected in this case and the lowercase c means you are affected by cystic fibrosis. The parents can both be carriers of this if they have the genotype or if they have the alleles capital C lowercase c because the capital C is dominant and that means they're not affected. So if a parent has the alleles, one allele being um, dominant and the other allele being recessive, they can be carriers of the gene without actually having the condition themselves. It's only when a person has the CC, both lowercase, that they are then affected. So if we have a look at that in terms of a genetic cross, you would have um, both parents, let's say both parents are carriers. So we'll put one parent up here with a big C and a lowercase c, and another parent here with a big C and a lowercase c. So if those parents then went on to have offspring, um, you'd have the following um, combination of alleles. You'd have two capitals there, you'd have a capital and a lowercase, a capital and a lowercase and two lowercase. So in this case because dominant means you're not affected that means 75% of their offspring, there's a 75% chance that they're not affected but here there is a 25 or 1 in 4 or a 25% chance that the offspring will be affected by cystic fibrosis. So a lot of parents that have children with cystic fibrosis don't know themselves that they're actually a carrier of the gene because they're not affected by it themselves because they've got this um, combination of alleles which if you're higher teen you know is heterozygous. They don't know that they are um, have the possibility of having a child with cystic fibrosis, but they do have a 25% chance of their child having this genetic disorder, um, which will affect their lives quite severely. So in the next video, we're going to look at embryo screening um, and looking for genetic disorders at the embryo stage. So if you found that video on cystic fibrosis useful, then please press the like button and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.